Now we'll show you how you can combine units together to make more complex units that aren't necessarily available as individual units from the casework repository. Go to the south elevation and I'll show you what we want to do. Over here I want to take these two pull-out pantry units, split them across the top, turn them into cupboards like the other overhead units. On the right hand side we'll keep a pull-out pantry, but on the left hand side we'll make an integrated fridge. And that's going to have a cupboard door on it that way. So to do that, we're going to start by manipulating this pull-out pantry here. This one I want to be 1800 high, so I'll duplicate this up. And make that 1800 high. Now I do know that's going to need one shelf, that shelf there needs to disappear, so we'll change it down from six shelves to five. That's going to be a good start. Okay, but we also have the cupboard door for some reason is up higher. Let's find out what's going on there. Scroll down. Okay, we have cupboard one height in this family. It needs to be adjusted. So that's obviously less the kick space height, so there will be 1700 height. It's not a bad start. Over on the right here to make our integrated fridge. I'm actually going to select a standard cupboard as a tool unit um, that will have one door. And we'll start with this one, one door, four shelves, but we'll duplicate that. So it's going to be 1800 high. And we'll make it no shelves. So again, there's the number of shelves, zero. Scroll down, find the height, 1800. It's looking good, and I can use the space bar to flip that over to get the door swing on the right side. Now this overhead unit, I'm just gonna copy that over. If we have a look at our 3D view, we find that that needs to be 600 deep. So again, edit the type, duplicate that. Change the depth to 600. Now let's have a look at the south elevation. That's not too bad. We need to remove that kick space there. So again, edit the line work to invisible lines. Got rid of that. Now some other things that we can do here is the panels in between. When you select these panels, we've got side one, side two. You can actually make these divider panels so that if it does come as one unit, it will only have one panel there, not two side by side. And there are these settings here. So we know we're working on side one. So we've got side one divider panel. Yes, it's not the end panel. And on this one here, we'll do exactly the same. Side one is a divider panel, not the end panel. And there it looks like we've got one single unit with one panel in between them, but it's actually made up of two units. We could do the same here on the drawers. Side one would be a divider panel, not an end panel. So that bank of drawers looks like one unit 1200 wide instead of two units. 